Well, sorry to tell you, can't afford a voiceover, so you're stuck with me, Jez. This is Canva Custom Tattoo Machines. Doing a short series of videos. Hopefully, these are going to help you have a better understanding of your coil machines. Going to start with real basics, eventually getting a little bit more technical and in-depth. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the button below. Hope it's all going to help you out. If it doesn't, then what the hell, at least you didn't pay 95 quid for it. Right, let's go. Let's start with some pretty basic tools you're going to need to take your machine apart. Correct size or selection of sizes of Allen keys, maybe a small screwdriver, some small pliers, something to clean with, maybe some alcohol wipes, that sort of thing. This first video is just basic coil tattoo machines stripped down, clean and reassembly. And I'm using a sunskin brass machine for this. I'm sure you'll appreciate the need to strip down your machines from time to time. Give them a thorough clean. There's a lot of people out there that don't really have the confidence or maybe the skills or knowledge to do it. But don't worry. It's really straightforward. And as I said before, just requires some pretty basic tools. I would suggest marking your piece of paper out something like this. It's going to make it a lot easier when you reassemble your machine. Now we're going to do it in a, it, it, it's sort of like an order to do this in because you can't take the coils off until you've unbolted the wires that are connected to the uh, front post and the rear contact post. So first of all we're going to take the front contact post off of the machine. So first of all, as I mentioned, we're going to take the front contact post off. Quite easy, very straightforward with the Allen key. Unscrew the bolt that holds it on. Take that off in one piece, put it down there. If you can, take the bolt out, you'll see there's an insulating washer either side to stop the bolt touching the frame. There might be some other washers as well. If you try to keep them in the order that they came off the frame and then put them back onto the front contact post like that, that's real easy. Okay. Next we're going to take off the rear contact post. Same again, very similar to the front contact post. In this case it's on the side of the frame, so we're just going to undo this bolt again. Take the bolt out, try and keep all the washers in place, put them back onto the bolt, put the actual contact post onto the bolt, put it on the piece of paper. OK. Right, next we're going to take off the armature bar and springs complete all together in one piece. Probably going to be a slightly different size, slightly bigger Allen key for this one. So we're just going to undo that one bolt, like so. Take that bolt out. As you can see, there's a clamp on this one. Sometimes you'll just have a, a washer and a bolt holding the spring down. And um, we're just going to put that there. We're not going to take that apart at the moment. We'll do that in a later video. Um, when we're actually talking about changing springs and tuning machines. OK. Right, now we're going to take the coils off the frame. As you can see, the wires are now no longer attached to the uh, front and rear contact posts. So once we've taken the bolts out from under the coils. What we are going to have to watch out for though is, in this case, because it's a brass frame, there's actually a yoke connecting the coils. And we're also going to need to watch out there might be some washers underneath the coils. So we're going to make sure, if possible, we're just going to take the bolts out like that first of all, and then remove the coils very carefully. You might be able to see there's some washers under there. So that's really to get the coils into the optimum position for when the armature bar is actually contacting the coils. So there's two small washers at the front, one small washer at the rear. We'll put the coils down like that so we know that what's what and where it's going. Then we'll take the yoke off. Now we're left with a completely bare frame, nothing on it other than the actual vice clamp key, which we can just unscrew like that. Very simple. Probably got a washer or two with it and we'll just put that down there. One bare frame. Okay. Right now, I'm just going to show you 
very very basic. Let's let's just clean the frame. This is the sort of thing I use. Small alcohol wipe comes in a little packet like that. You bring it out. It's just a little thing like this. So I'm just gonna clean the frame. Things you got to remember when you're cleaning a frame is when there's ink, there's blood. So you want to get get it as clean as possible. You see the amount of dirt. I've just only just wiped one small bit of the frame. You don't need to polish it. You just need to clean it. Get all the grime off of there. And keep it very straightforward. Now we're going to start putting it back together. Okay. Right, let's start reassembly. Let's get the coils on first. So remembering we had a yoke there, so we're going to put that into the frame first. Not all machines have got that. Let's put the bolts up through that and the other bolt. Now remembering we have two washers for the front coil. Got those there. Put those two washers on that bolt. One washer for the rear coil. A little bit fiddly. Just get that on there. We're going to lay the machine frame down. We're going to get the coils over the bolts. Just put the thread in a little bit on that bolt. A little bit on the front bolt. The coils are in position. Just going to do both bolts up. Nice and tight. So that they don't fall off. Okay. Right, next we're doing this in reverse order from the way we uh, took it apart. So we're just going to put the armature bar and springs back on. So we'll put that back in place like that. In the case with this, it's got a small clamp holding it down. Put that in place. Put the bolt through. slightly bigger allen key for this one. Just going to nip that up for now. I'll show you about the aligning that in a minute. Okay. Right, so we've got to be a little bit more careful when we're refitting the rear contact post. The small insulating washers on the, on the bolt that go through the uh, frame, we've got to make sure that we get one either side of the frame. It's very important that the metal of the bolt or the actual wire doesn't in any way touch the frame. That's why we have the insulating washers. Okay. So pretty much same again with the front contact post. Again, we've got to make sure that the small rubber or plastic insulator for the bolt, we've got one either side of the frame. In some cases there will be an insulator one side and maybe just a plastic washer the other side. Either way it's important that there is one either side of the frame. Like so we're going to put the wire over that. Put the contact on there. Just take the Allen key. Just tighten that up. And that is pretty much going to be in the position that it was on before we took it apart. The next stage is very straightforward. We're just going to refit the vice clamp into its hole and do that up as so. Okay. That's a pretty useful idea at this point if you've got an armature bar alignment tool. It looks something like this. Seeing as we have actually moved the armature bar, what we do is we put the tool up through there. We'll undo the bolt holding the spring in place. Try and get it pretty much lined up, pretty much centralised to where it's going to be. So that the contact screw is actually touching central to the front of the front spring on the machine. And we tighten that bolt up that holds the spring down. We'll take that out and that should be your machine completely reassembled. It's pretty basic, it's pretty straightforward. If you're frightened about doing it, just do it one piece at a time until you're confident taking the whole machine apart and you'll get a much better understanding of what you're doing.
Okay.